I shall do it. Ah, oh, damn, hold on. Okay, we have gone and we've retrieved a pinch of the urn of sacred ashes. Now, this magical ash seems to have the ability to go and cure people of, like, their horrible diseases and whatnot. Oh, hold on. Ruined temple. Is that where I want to go? So, if we take this back to Al Eamon, perhaps he can go and not die. And we can get his support to fight Darkspawn. But until then, let's just see how this goes. It seems like I'm on the wrong side. There's something over there. Oh! Chest. Allow me. I could do that for you. Don't want. As you like. I'll do it. Did not want any of that crap. Uh, my mouse sensitivity is a bit too high. I think there's supposed to be a shortcut back to the village, and I'm hoping this is it. So I don't, uh, you know, have to run all the way back. Yeah, I think this brought me back to where I need to go. Still, I wonder, I mean, why'd they light this fire, and what did they use to burn? What'd they tear apart for this? There's a guy I need to talk to. Welcome back. You were gone for quite some time. Well, did you find it? The urn? Yes. What... what was it like, coming to the urn, I mean? Grueling. There were tests. Tests? Interesting. Very interesting. Perhaps my research will not seem so much like blasphemy to the Chantry now. We must organize an expedition. There is so much history here, it must be studied. And and pilgrims should be allowed to come to the Anne. Why? We should keep the secret for ourselves. But the urn belongs to all the faithful. How can you deny this to them? No, we must share it. I agree. We cannot withhold this from others. It is not our place. I wish people wanted to share me more often. Especially the ladies. I want more ladies to share me. <laughs> I will spread this good news or die trying. Something gone bad comes of this. It's your fault. I must return home. I have much to do. If you ever find yourself in Denerim, please visit me. I am not a rich man, but I have a small collection of interesting artifacts, and I do owe you a reward for coming to my rescue. I hope to see you soon, my friend. The problem here is there's only so much, so much of the ash inside the urn, and having a bunch of people just storming into this area and each trying to gain their own share of that would deplete it pretty damn quick. So, you know, that's going to be a problem. But the only option is to kill him, and I probably should have done that. Archdemon saw us. Saw us! What does that mean? I think... Wait. Did you hear that? Ah, shit. Time to kill. Guns of creatures came out of nowhere.
Well, survive that. I guess it's like Duncan once said. We can sense them, and they can sense us. We'd best be more careful from now on. This camp isn't safe any longer. Huh. Will they send next Darkspawn tax collectors? What location should be built around the camp? Yeah, I can't get a bloody night's rest. How unnerving. What, no trap? No ambush? <laughs> Some assassins. Picked up all the crap. There you are. Wanted to talk to you. What about? You and I, we... You know how sometimes you spend time with people and things? Hmm. Uh, spit it out, dwarf. I was thinking, uh, I do know some people out here on the surface. A person, actually. A girl I knew in Orzammar, before I left, obviously. Who is she? Her name's Felsi. She and I were uh, friends after Bronca left for the deep roads. I'm sure she's forgiven me by now. Thought maybe I'd track her down, see how she's been living. Do you know where to find her? I tried to look her up the last time we were at Lake Kalanhod. She wasn't at work at the inn. At home with her sick mother, they said. I figured it was just the ancestors telling me something. But I keep thinking about her. We can go back. Well, and a good friend you are, Warden. I'll think about you if we ever... Uh, no, actually, that would be gross. No, uh, what was it you wanted to say? Actually, never mind. Aye, all right then. Yeah, let's just get the hell out of here. <laughs> Continue on our trip to... Yeah, uh, rid ourselves of these sacred ashes. Indeed. Yes. Yes. Indeed. Wasn't that far away. It's right here. Come on. I had to tell him to go there twice. It's ridiculous. When to go to the castle? This place seems to be doing well enough without me. It shall be done. Even though they'll probably all be dead if I weren't standing there fighting. Uh, it's such a long walk. Should let me just spawn in the room I need to go to. Anytime now. Might you have news? What is our layman's condition? Unchanged, I'm afraid. We've tried more magical healing, but nothing works. As time passes, I become more and more convinced the urn might be our only hope. I found the urn. You have? Wonderful. Let us go at once to Eamon's side and see if the urn's healing powers live up to their reputation. Where am I? Be calm, brother. 
You have been deathly ill for a very long time. Do you remember nothing? Tegan? What are you doing here? Where is Isolde? I am here, my husband. And Connor? Where is my boy? Where is our son? He lives. Though many others are dead. There is much to tell you, husband. Dead? Then... it was not a dream. Much has happened since you fell ill, brother. Some of it will not be... easy for you to hear. Then tell me. I wish to hear all of it. This is most troubling. There is much to be done, that is true. But I should first be thankful to those who have done so much. Grey Warden, you have not only saved my life, but kept my family safe as well. I am in your debt. Will you permit me to offer you a reward for your service? I need your help against the Blight. That will do. I understand, but regardless of your motivations, I feel you are worthy of a reward. I would like to honor your efforts. Nothing more. As you wish, then. Then allow me to declare you and those traveling with you champions of Redcliffe. You will always be a welcome guest within these halls. And for you, Warden, a shield of the same make as those that have been given to our finest knights. There's much else to do now. Indeed. We have no way of knowing what Loghain will do once he learns of your recovery. Loghain instigates a civil war even though the Darkspawn are on our very doorstep. Long I have known him, he is a sensible man, one who never desired power. I was there when he announced he was taking control of the throne, Eamon. He is mad with ambition, I tell you. Mad indeed. Mad enough to kill Caelan to attempt to kill myself and destroy my lands. Whatever happened to him, Loghain must be stopped. What's more, we can scarce afford to fight this war to its bitter end. But you can unite the nobility against Loghain, can't you? I could unite those opposing Loghain, yes. But not all oppose him. He has some very powerful allies. We have no time to wage a campaign against him. Someone must surrender if Ferelden is to have any chance at fighting the Darkspawn. But, once everyone learns what he's done... I will spread word of Loghain's treachery, both here and against the King. But it will be but a claim made without proof. Those claims will give Loghain's allies pause. But we must combine it with a challenge Loghain cannot ignore. We need someone with a stronger claim to the throne than Loghain's daughter, the Queen. Are you referring to Alistair, brother? Are you certain? I would not propose such a thing if we had an alternative. But the unthinkable has occurred. You intend to put Alistair forward as king? Hey, I'm right here. Tegan and I have a claim through marriage, but we would seem opportunists no better than Loghain. Alistair's claim is by blood. And what about me? Does anyone care what I want? You have a responsibility, Alistair. Without you, Loghain wins. I would have to support him for the sake of Ferelden. Is that what you want? I... B but I... No, my lord. I see only one way to proceed. I will call for a landsmeet, a gathering of all of Ferelden's nobility in the city of Denerim. There, Ferelden can decide who shall rule, one way or another. Then the business of fighting our true foe can begin. What say you to that, my friend? I do not wish to proceed without your blessing. My blessing? Why do you need my blessing? None of this would be possible without you. You led Alistair here. You saved my life with the urn of sacred ashes. It's your lead I follow. I am a credible enough figure in this nation to call the Landsmeet, but I hold no illusions that I could face Loghain without you. Surely you see that. What's stopping Loghain from just attacking Redcliffe? Why do you think he had me poisoned? He wanted me gone without having to confront me directly. If I call for a landsmeet, 
Refusing the compromise and attacking Redcliffe will only support our accusations. I'm sure he'd rather I died from the poison. Had the demon not interfered, that's exactly what would have happened. What if we defeated him in battle? Unless we convince some of Loghain's allies to abandon him, that's not likely to happen. Our army is not large enough. As a Grey Warden, you may gather allies to you, but we need those forces to face the Darkspawn, not to battle against our own. I say we proceed with your plan. Very well. I will send out the word. But before we proceed, I believe there is the matter of the mage, my son's tutor. He still lives, I understand. He does. He is in the dungeon, brother. Have him brought here, Tegan. I wish to see him. Jowan, what you have done is not in question. You tried to assassinate me and set into motion a series of events that nearly destroyed everything I cherish. What have you to say in your own defense? Nothing, my lord. Other than to say I am sorry. I expect no mercy for what I have done. I see. Grey Warden, have you anything to say on Jowan's behalf? He confronted the demon in the Fade and saved Connor's life. Thus spared my wife from offering herself as sacrifice as well, I understand. But has he done all this just to save his own skin? And what would you have me do? As the injured party, my ability to see the merciful path is strained. Give him to the Circle of Magi. True enough. And wisely said. Jowan, I hereby turn you over to the Tower of the Circle of Magi. May the Maker have mercy on your soul. Thank you, my lord. Now, back to the matter of the Landsmeet. It will take some time to recall my forces and organize our allies. I would prefer to wait until that is done before calling the Landsmeet. In the meantime, I suggest you pursue the remainder of the Grey Warden treaties. We will need all the allies we can get if we are to defeat the Darkspawn Horde.